So in this past 12, we're going to continue from where we stopped. If you can remember from part 11, we actually did uh, fetch some data from PostgreSQL, like you can see here. Um, I'll close this PG admin because we don't need it for now. So we fetched some data. So it means that we actually have created a complete REST API. Not complete REST API because we've not done put, post, and not and delete. So now the next thing what I want us to do to simplify this application is to uh, do away with the routing um, package, um, actually the routing directory and the routing file. We want to specify the routing uh, inside the controller like we normally do in Spring Boot. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. Again, if you are joining me, joining me for the first time in this class, please subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment box below if you have any challenges following my classes. And please do um, uh, follow me on my social network profile. Let's connect on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Instagram, and, and get some of my um, application on, on GitHub repository. You can download or clone them and be able to see um, where you may have a uh, challenge, and then you can fix it. All right, so we want to understand what this app route is doing. So this app route contains a routing. So we specify it, router.get, and it gives a URL directory, and then it calls the controller method. But this is redundant uh, coding, so we don't, we don't want a different file, so we want to specify everything in the same place. So I'm going to actually delete this route directory completely. So I'm going to delete, delete it. Yes, so naturally, um, now we are not able to route. So if I go to server.cs, server.cs, we are not able to route. Okay, so I'm going to take all this because this is not a problem. You can see routes, this, this things are failing here. So we are now going to modify the home.ts file as well as the country controller file. I mean the home controller.ts file as well as the country controller.ts file. So once specify the routes inside the methods, that is what makes more sense than having the route and specify it elsewhere. So I'm going to the home controller.ts file, which is actually this one. So I want to uh, tell Node that the route should be specified somewhere in this function uh, here. So to do that, we first need to import, um, so let me just close up a few things here. We need to import a router here. So in home control, I'm going to say const router uh, is equal to express dot router. And we have express dot router. And we also need to add uh, import statement for express. So I don't know, you can come here. So I'm going to say, um, we also need to import it here. I think I can say express. Okay, I think I can say something like this. Okay, I don't know if I have it here. I don't. Um, all right. So, um, so now in case of the home, so we have. Let me see. We have requ uh, a request response. Now instead of having this method this way, we are simply going to use router.get here. So instead of saying const get home missing, I'm going to say router.get is as simple as this. So router.get, you now have to specify the URL mapping to the home, and that is all you need to do. Specify the home, and then the next thing is going to be the function and in this case we have this closes up this one let's see we have this one um so we have router.gate we have this arrow function um starts from here from here um so i don't think we are going to need this last one um so this one this one where are you I'll just take out this one first. Okay, so we have this um, that gets, and we have the arrow function. We have this one. Um, should we close up this one? Maybe. Okay, so. 
Okay, so I think we need to close the JSON here. Um, close the JSON and close this one as well. Okay, okay. So this one closes this one. This one closes this one. Perfect. So this is how it's going to look like. This is how a typical function that contains router is going to look like. We are going to now export the router. Export default router. So this router we are exporting now, we are going to actually then use it um, uh, in the server.ts file. We are going to come there in a minute. So we are going to do exactly the same thing for uh, for the uh, country controller here. So instead of having all this, we're going to add a router. So I'm going to um, copy this and use it in the country controller. So I'm going to create this here and this is fine. Uh, this is country controller. So I'm going to say this is where we are. Um, so I'm going to simply say router.get. Okay. And at this time, I think I should just close this one. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it's going to be specify the part to be. Um, okay, so it's going to be slash countries. Okay, so this is basically it, and then we export default router. Okay, so we now need to go to the server.ts file to tell the server now that we have to use routing coming from the controller files. So I'm going to the server.ts file here. And here you can see we are using route here. So we are going to make some changes. We are now going to use routes coming from the controller file. So we are going to uh, import the controllers here. I'm going to say import uh, star as country controller from dot slash controllers slash country controller and the second one is import star as what as home controller from uh, dot slash controller slash home controller okay perfect and we need to create the router, which we did here. And then we are going to say router.use those routers coming from, um, from the home and from the, from the home controller and the country controller. So the base, the first thing you will specify is the base route. The base route for now is nothing. So I'm going to uh, use nothing from here. So I'm going to say home controller.default. That's what was exported and country controller.default. So if I go to home controller, I say slash home. Okay, so it means that I don't need any leading slash, uh, I think it's trading slash, I don't need any trading slash anymore. So if I want to use trading slash, let's say I say the base, uh, the base uh, uh, URL mapping is slash here, it means I'm, I have to remove the slash from here, which kind of does not uh, go well with me. Okay, so shift this one down so this is exactly how it works so when you say the http create server and specify the router and then every other thing is about the same so we've completely gotten rid of this extra directory we call router and now we have the route specified in the controller files i'm going to run this application let's just make sure we've not broken anything and then we continue from there uh, so we're starting off, so let me kind of say file, save all. And I'm going to this place, I'm going to refresh. It still works, and let's go home. And it still works as well. So I'll be stopping here. In the next part, we are now going to do get by ID. We're also going to be uh, edit, uh, post a new country, and also delete a country. I'd like to once again thank you very much for viewing and also remember to subscribe, leave me a comment and we we'll see you in the next part.